I got tons of requests from you people asking how to install Windows 10 in the existing DOS operating system. So today in this video I will let you know all the required steps that you have to follow so that you can install Windows 10 in your laptop or PC by your own. So make sure that you watch this video till end and follow all the required steps. Before we move forward, let me give you a quick layout that you have to follow. So first of all, you have to download Windows 10 ISO file or else you can arrange from your friend. After downloading the file, you have to make a bootable pen drive and I will recommend you to use a minimum of 8 GB of pen drive. Once you have made a bootable pen drive, you are ready to format your disk and install Windows 10 on that laptop or PC. And lastly, after the installation, you have to update all the driver required if in case they are missing. So this was the brief introduction. Now let me guide you through all the required steps. So first of all, you have to download Windows 10 software that is ISO file. And to do this, you can use the link provided in the description section and reach to the official site of Microsoft and download the required 32-bit or 64-bit program, which is around of 20 megabytes. And once you have downloaded the program, you have to create an installation media for another PC or laptop. So select second option and click on next and select the preferred language. In my case, it is English. And after that, you can select Windows 10 or Windows 10 Pro depending upon your requirement. And after that, select 32-bit or 64-bit depending upon the system requirement. And in my case, it is 64-bit and just click on next. After that, you will see two options. First one is USB flash drive and second one is ISO file. So you have to create ISO file. So select that and click on next and select the required location where you want to download the ISO file and just click on next. Now downloading process will begin and it will take around 3 to 4 GB of your data and will take some time too. Hence with this we have made ISO file for Windows 10. Now let's move on to the next step. Now you will require Rufus which is required to flash the ISO file into the pen drive. I will give the link for this software in the description box and it is around 10 MB only. Now insert your pen drive and open Rufus and make sure that you have selected the pen drive only because in case you select your hard drive then all the data from your hard disk will be deleted. So please keep this thing in your mind and click on the icon and go to the location where you have just kept the window 10 ISO file and select the ISO file and just click on start. Here you can see a pop-up menu showing all the data from your pen drive will be deleted. So in case if there is any important data in your pen drive then just copy that in your computer before doing this process. Now just click on start and this process will take around 2 to 3 minutes and with this you will be able to flash ISO file into your pen drive. Now the third step begins here. You have to take the pen drive out from the computer and insert to the laptop which you want to format or PC which you want to format and better to go with USB 3.0 port. Now here comes the tricky part because you have to go to the BIOS menu and it differs from brand to brand. In case of HP, once you power on, then you can click ESC two to three times and you will go into directly BIOS menu. And in case of Dell and Asus, the BIOS key is completely different. So you can search on internet for the BIOS menu key and you can use for your personal computer also. Now, as you can see, I'm using Lenovo laptop. So here I have got a dedicated button known as Novo button, which if I will press, then I will directly go into the BIOS menu. And I'm using SIM ejector pin for this process. And I'm just clicking on that BIOS menu will be appeared as you can see now. Also as the BIOS key is different for all the brands, the menu which you are seeing right now may differ from brand to brand. So don't worry much, just read the instruction and go to the boot menu. Now from the boot menu select the USB drive which you have just made bootable right now and many times you will see the brand name of your pen drive also. So don't be panic much, simply take your time and select the correct option from the boot menu. Now click enter and you will see the installation menu has been appeared and here you have to check everything and just click on next then click on install and here you will be asked to enter the product key. So if you have any product key then simply enter otherwise you can skip and later you can provide the product key. After that accept all the terms and conditions and simply click on next. Now select the custom installation option and click on next and here you can see all the available disk drive. So initially if any operating system was installed in your system then you can see the disk partition just like this. 
otherwise in case if there is no installed operating system from previous then you will see one unallocated disk drive only in my case i have unallocated 931 gb of space as you can see now if you want to do partition from the available disk drive simply click on that and i am creating a primary space of around 200 gb where i will install window 10 so similarly you can follow the steps otherwise you can increase also or you can decrease the amount of gb which you want to give to the window installation that is c drive now select the primary drive that you have created right now and click on next now the file will start copying from your pen drive into the system and the whole process will take around 20 to 30 minutes depending upon the specs of your laptop and speed of your pen drive so simply wait for that time and once it will be completed your laptop will restart and after that you can remove your pen drive and you have to wait for a few more minutes so that all the steps of window installation will be completed and it will take more 10 to 20 minutes so you have to simply wait now if you want to give password or add some privacy then you can simply click otherwise you can skip this step and after 4-5 more minutes you can see the window installation has been successfully done now let me show you the system information so here you can see my window 10 pro has been installed and with this all the three important steps has been completed and after that you can install all the required drivers into your system so to install that you simply go to the driver website of your laptop brand in case i am going to lenovo website and provide the serial key of your laptop and you can download all the required drivers such as nvidia graphic card if your system support and wi-fi driver and touchpad driver etc so with this all the step of window 10 installation process has been completed and i hope this video was helpful for you and in case if you found this video helpful then like this video comment below if you have any doubt and share this video with your friends and help them too and lastly if you are new to this channel then please subscribe for more interesting video so that's all for today this was your friend abhijit signing off hope to see you in next video